Hi friends, teacher Stefan here. Today let's work on nonfiction, animals of the forest. Can you name any animals of the forest? Hmm, chipmunk, squirrel, deer. Have you ever seen a wild animal hunting for food or building a home? I've seen a deer in the wood eating berries with its family. I've seen a squirrel collecting acorns and putting them in a hole in the tree for later. What animal was it? Hmm, I've also seen a fox, but only once in a bush in the forest. What kind of food was it hunting for? I think foxes eat smaller animals and there are lots of rabbits in my forest. So maybe it was looking for rabbit food. What kind of home was it building? The squirrels that I've seen use the tree as their home. I've also seen birds making homes and nests using twigs and clay and small leaves. Even Canadian beavers that use wood to make their home. I'm going to show you some animals today, animals of the forest. What do you think they'll be? A great ferocious bear? What is this bear eating? This bound bear is in the river eating fresh salmon. What is the next animal? Look at this little forest bird. It's used very small pieces of hay or grass to form a nest to make its home. Unfortunately, if you wanted a bear or a bird, you're not getting that today. Let's begin. Animals of the forest. Look at this beautiful Canadian forest on the left. Tall, thick, strong trees, and they cast a big shadow on the other trees that go up the hill away from the sun. What animals live in this forest? Many kinds of animals live in this forest. They all have many things that help them live. It's not just trees and grass. There are lots of hidden secrets in any forest. Who's this cute animal here with his big coat of brown hair? Can you find this animal in China? This animal is all over Canada. It's even on our money. They are very cute, but careful. They are very powerful and they protect their homes. This is the Canadian beaver. Beavers only live in or near water. In the water, a clear skin shh, slides across their eyes. How does this skin help? Beavers' eyes are not like humans' eyes. We have very sensitive, gentle eyes. One little poke, Ouch! Even when we swim in the water, sometimes opening our eyes hurts, but not the beaver. Beavers are excellent swimmers. Look at that little sausage body. I wonder how it swims so well. Actually, its paws or feet and hands are very strong, and its body is compact, it's all together, and its skin and hair are smooth, so it can dart or zip or fly through the water very easily. Beavers swim a lot. The clear skin over their eyes keeps things out of their eyes when they are in the water. It protects their eyes. Beavers make their homes out of sticks and mud. Did you know 
that many, 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 many years ago, people made their homes out of sticks and mud too. I wonder if we learnt it from the beaver. Aha! Who is this beautiful creature? This is the majestic, gorgeous, American bald eagle. Why do we call it a bald eagle? Well, it has dark black or brown wings, belly, and back. But its head has no color. It's white. So it almost looks like a bald person. We call it the bald or no-haired eagle. An eagle can see very well. Very, very, very well. It has eyes on the sides of its head, not like people who have eyes in the front. How do eyes on the side of its head help? Hmm, what other animals have eyes on the sides? The hammerhead shark have eyes out here so it can see both ways and smash its head. The eagle is different. Isn't that a perfect photo? I miss Canada. The high, high, high mountains and the eagle soars above them, but it can see all the way to the bottom of the valley with its amazing eyes. An eagle can see to the front and to the sides at the same time. This helps it spot small animals when it is hunting. It uses its eyes to see how far away an animal is. It can see in color too. Not all animals see colors. Did you know that? They only see in shades of black, gray, and white. The eagle can see almost anything, so never steal from an eagle. Ew, gross. What's this? It has black fur, whiskers. It almost looks like it has dandruff on it. Do you see the white spots? Sometimes humans get white spots or dandruff when we don't shower enough. Maybe this mole is very dirty. And in fact, it is because it lives underground. It hardly ever showers. This mole has a nose that looks like a star. There is no hair on this nose. How does a hairless star nose help this mole? That's a great question. Can you guess? I have no guesses. Let's read on. Oh, it's just a little. I thought it was bigger, but it's just a little itty bitty little mole. Its hands are very scary. I guess they're that big for digging. The mole's nose has little arms. Yes. The arms help it find food. The mole uses its toes to dig. The arms help keep things from going up its nose. Goodbye, mole. It's hard to see moles as they are always under the earth. So take a good look. Five, four, three, two, goodbye. Let's summarize the book. Today we learned about three forest animals and their unique special features that make them successful living and building their homes. Readers learn how three forest animals, a beaver, an eagle, and a star-nosed mole 
use different body parts to help them live. Questions. What do beavers make their homes out of? Hmm. Teacher, beavers make their homes out of sticks and mud. Aha, that's correct. How does a star nose help the mole? Teacher, the star nose helps the mole because it has little arms that help it dig. This also helps it touch, feel, and smell everything around it. The arms on the nose help it find food, aha, uh -huh, and keep things from going ah, up its nose. <clears throat> How do the eyes on both sides of its head help the ego? Ooh, teacher, me, 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 me. The eagle's eyes are great because it can see forward and sideways and in color from a very, very, very long distance away. They help an eagle see to the front and to the side at the same time. Imagine if you could see here and here all at once. Wouldn't that be great? This book tells about eagles, beavers, and moles. Put these words in alphabetical order. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. B comes before E, which comes before M. Beaver, eagle, mole. Beavers, eagles, moles. Yes. How are eagles and people alike? Eagles and people both see in color. They both have two eyes. But eagles don't have arms and people don't have wings. Yes, there it is. You could have said eagles and people both have eyes that can see in color. How do you know this book is not a story? It didn't have a beginning, a middle, and an end. It just had this animal, that animal, this animal. Yes, it gives true information, facts, and it has real photographs of these three animals in nature. Which forest animal did you like best and why? I liked the mole because it was the most interesting. I didn't know that a creature could have a star armed nose. I also like things that live underground. So now every time that I'm walking around, I'll imagine an animal underneath. But that's for you to decide. Your homework. Draw a picture of one of the animals from the book. How do we draw a picture? Go get a piece of paper, your coloring pencils and markers. I am going to draw the eagle because all I have to do is trace my hands. <coughs> then label the important parts of its body. The wing, the eyes, the beak, the neck, the bald head, the little feet. Now go home and talk about animals of the forest with a family member. Hi, Dad. Can we talk about my school book today? Animals of the forest. I saw this thing called a beaver. Teacher Stefan said it lives in Canada. It's a good swimmer, but it looks really heavy. And it doesn't have fins like a fish. I don't get it. Talk about kinds of places where animals live. Hey mom, I didn't know that animals could live underground. Animals live on land or in the sky, right? Do any animals live in the mountains? Hmm. Hey gang, that's it for me today. I really enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.